Hello guys and welcome to Trace Tainment. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss none of the videos that I post. In today's video, Vice President Kamala Harris has made a huge mistake. I'm not sure what will be the outcome from this, but I have a couple clips that I want you guys to watch. Let's hop right into it. Kamala Harris is having to deal with protesters at some of her, and, and if you watch some of these rallies, you start to think maybe the wheels are starting to come off just based on what she's mm. saying. Watch this. We remember Donald Trump hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with, with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. Mm. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. <gasps> Wow. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. Wow, that's where you see who she really is in that moment. So somebody said Jesus is Lord. Obviously, these were pro-life uh, protesters who were at her rally. And her response was, um, you know, Jesus isn't here. You need to go to that other rally where they like Jesus. Wow, so I can't believe that was even said. Like, I really cannot believe it. But it lets me know something is wearing off. You know, that joy was up. But now I, I don't really see it anymore. I do not see the joy at all. But that lets me know that they know that something is up. Maybe Trump numbers are bigger than what they think they are. Something is wearing off. And the joy is just not there anymore. I'm telling you guys, like I see it in each rally. I do not see the joy in anymore. It's Trump's this, Trump this, Trump's this, Trump this. No, let's talk about how we can fix things and how we can make this economy better. But as you can see, that joy is wearing off. Now here goes this next clip. Supposedly Vice President Kamala Harris was not at the rally that long. We know we can make a difference because the power is with the people. I'm not sure what really happened if there was like something that was going on that many don't know about, but they were saying like this rally was very short and it was very quick. Maybe something was going on, I'm not too sure, but that's not like a really good look to many people. Now in this next video, CNN is basically reporting that Donald Trump is starting to improve. Check this clip out. There are a lot of folks such as myself who think that Donald Trump's unpopularity is baked in, but here's the deal. If you believe that Donald Trump has somehow become less popular over time, mm. let me change your mind about that. In fact, he is more popular at this point in the campaign than he was at this point in the 2020 campaign or the 2016 campaign. Look, he's still underwater, right, with a negative nine point net favorability rating. But that is higher than he was in 2020 at minus 12 points when he nearly won. And it is way higher than the minus 27 net favorability back in 2016 when he did win. So I think there's this real question in Kamala Harris's mind, in the campaign's mind, why is Trump more popular now than he was at this point in 2020 and 2016? That is so easy to answer. All you got to look at is the economy. Think about what's been going on in this economy for quite some time now. Like it's been quite some time that people have been dealing with high prices and food, high prices in these homes, high prices on these uh, groceries, high prices on these clothes. The, the prices are just so high with everything. And think about it. When you go buy a house, the interest rate too. I mean, the interest rates have come down now just a little bit, but they're still pretty high for most people. You go buy a car, the interest rates are pretty high for most people. The economy is everyone's main focus and they want a better economy. And I don't blame them because I do too. That is the ultimate thing that many people want to change right now. I think that is why you're seeing the sharpening of tax because they want to put them back down to here yeah. or even... There's no way that they're necessarily going to back down to here, but they want to make Trump more unpopular than he is right now because he's more popular now than either point in 2020 or 2016. So this could be what they're saying with regard to Donald Trump, but is, could it have something also to do with what they're saying with their candidate with Kamala Harris or something? Yeah, look, Kamala Harris is more popular than Donald Trump, but Kamala Harris had her popularity rising once, of course, she became the presumptive Democrat nominee. Look, she was at minus 15 points back on July 17th, then minus four points on August 17th, then one point on September, plus one point. She was actually in positive territory a month ago, but she has fallen back down to minus one. The momentum of Kamala Harris has stalled. And I mm. think they feel like they have to change something that's going on in their campaign because they were seeing a rise and now it is stalled out. Look, she's still more popular than Trump, 
But look, Joe Biden was more popular than Trump, much more, and barely won. And Hillary Clinton was more popular than Donald Trump and lost. Being more popular than Trump isn't enough. She wants to continue to see her fiber abilities rise, but in fact, they're going in the wrong direction. I'm going to say a lot of people have made up their mind on who they will be deciding. But there are also a lot of people that are still undecided. And the thing that many people are thinking about is the economy and keeping themselves safe. Because those two things are very important to a lot of people, not only for themselves, but them fam but their families as well. A lot of people have been struggling for quite some time now, and they want to make it an easier living for themselves and their families and the people around them. People don't want to deal with what we've been dealing with. Enough's enough. Now in this next clip, this Republican basically explains what everyone is thinking. Check this clip out. Hey, well, wait a minute here. The vice president once upon a time supported taxpayer dollars, your money, my money, your money, all the people who are watching, to go towards people who broke the law coming mm. to our country to give them driver's license, to pay for tuition when we're struggling to pay for our own children to get a college education. Mm. Then her own running mate signed into law in his own state these very things that she's now saying she's now against them. And the American people are supposed to believe that the vice president has now all of a sudden had an epiphany. And all of a sudden, all of her beliefs have magically changed, yet the guy she chose clearly believes these things. And, and you're flipping it to Republicans? I thought that was pretty hilarious that they try to switch it to the Republican. But at the same time, they got to understand that people can see and hear for themselves. They understand what's going on. They understand the policies. They understand what they're saying. They understand what they're hearing. Just some things people just don't agree with. People want change. People don't want to continue what they've been dealing with. They don't. Who wants to continue with these crazy prices we've been paying? Nobody. Who wants to continue with all this crazy stuff happening? Nobody. Nobody wants to deal with what we've been dealing with. Enough's enough, and we want change. Let me know what you guys think about today's video in the comment section. That'll be a wrap for today's video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.